Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name's John McDonald, and today we're going to make an arrangement featuring just foliage. And uh, there's been a couple of times where we've made videos and uh, put them up and people have went, oh, I really liked it with just the foliage. So we thought we'll take some inspiration from that and give it a go. So I've got some nice uh, fatsias. We've got a little bit of Phoenix Palm. We've got a little bit of Dracaena, Aspidistra, some Eucalyptus. A little bit of pistache. Uh, this is another type of eucalyptus. So this is more like the kind of cinerea sort of one. This is more like the parif parvifolium. Uh, so there's different ones and uh, French ruscus. So a little selection of greenery. Now what I want to do then is just decide how we're going to work this. So the dish I've got is this lovely aluminium uh, container and I really like this for its shape. So we need to think about how we're going to work this. So I think we will do this. And I'm just going to really make use of the line that this has. So not only does it have a line actually going through it, but it has a line in the sense that it's got this beautiful curve and it's got this beautiful shape. So this actually would be really nice going like this as well. Um, or we can, we can turn it. In fact, let's do that. So for this one then, we can just use a little bit of wire or a little bit of tape just to hold it. And you can see straight away that it's quite interesting having that. Now the great thing with the fatsias is, is that these are brilliant for just coming in and covering foam. So straight away, if we put in a couple, that's giving us a lot of coverage. Uh, and then we can use another one just to sit on top and create a little bit, a little bit more. Let's see what I did there. Yeah. So. We've got this line coming down and I want to just kind of really follow that. So we're going to use the French Ruscus. And I really like this uh, pistache. It's quite a woody sort of stem. It's a bit shrubby and it kind of reminds me, I don't know, like a, it's like a little bit like a tree. So. I think when we're making an arrangement like this where you're using one type of material, it's quite a good idea to try and show off that material to its best advantage. So what are the qualities of each piece of material that you can get to work to the best advantage? So the eucalypt, uh, the asparagus leaves, should I say, are great for just being able to put that turn on them. And again, with that one, we can also use the line in there to create it. Now, this is a product that we've used for years over time, and it's basically a leaf shine. So with dark foliage, you can just give them a light spray and it just really sims them up. The only thing is you don't want to use it on things that are soft and eucalyptus-y like, uh, or grey, because you'll lose that. They'll just basically go green. So, with our palm, what I'd like to do is just trim it and get a little bit of more interest in it. At the moment, it's a little bit messy and it's not very striking. So you can see just by doing the trim that we've really sharpened that up and actually you could do 
And you could do different things. You could um, cut in and get different lines. I'm just going to be careful that I don't actually cut the top off it because that would not be good. So again, we've not only sharpened it up, but we've given it a really good, strong look that makes it much more interesting. So this is the scissor that I normally use for ribbon and they're just really nice and sharp because they've not been damaged. They're not fancy scissors. They were literally pound fifty from Tesco, but they do the job. And again. And again. So you can see you can actually have quite a bit of fun with material like this. So we've got our line, we've got uh, a bit of focal weight in the middle, we've got some interest with that, but we've extended the line here as well. We've covered our edges. So really now it's just a case of using the eucalyptus, really just to come in and create that little contrast with color and texture. And we can put some over here. Now, actually having a wee bit going backwards, I'll take the eye through. I just want to bring a wee bit down the front as well. Now, this one's a little bit strong, so we'll just Put him in there. And this other type of eucalyptus, again, is just giving us a different contrast and taste. Now, I'm thinking because we have this here, it would be nice just to repeat one there. So just give me a second. actually moving this one to here is giving us like a secondary line coming through here. So we've got this line going down, then we've got a secondary line here. So that's all we really need to do. It's just a case of having a few different materials, different shapes and colours and textures, and combining them in the best way to suit their advantage. So with your bold leaves, you can fold them. With this, we have the ability to sculpt them. And it's really getting the best out of your materials. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, then click here to subscribe and keep up to date with all our new videos that are yet to come.